Okay, so th this is how the conversion system works. Um, back against the firewall, we've, we've placed the alcohol sensor and teed in to the fuel lines with uh, snap connectors. And then the fuel mixture is understood and sent to our processor, which is right here. And then that processor will share signals with the engine's ECU and send a signal to our injector which is uh, installed right here with this sandwich plate and we spray just a amount of fuel in there to keep the engine running perfectly um, and, and running smooth and at the highest performance. So that's how it works. So it looks almost OEM. If you're not a car person you might not even know that there was anything uh, added to your car. And one of the reasons this is so simple is because the cars are actually built today to be ethanol resistant. Um, one of the things that we did just to prove it was we looked at all the parts on a flex fuel vehicle versus a non-flex fuel for the same model. And what we found was all the parts were the same with the exception of the gas cap, which is yellow. And in one vehicle we found the fuel pump was a little bigger. But in most vehicles the fuel pump's plenty big. And therefore, really, we don't have to replace anything on the car. We just add these new components to make it all work. I think the other thing I might add is that, you know, there there has been concern about the parts not being compatible and and probably ten ten years ago and before we had gas a haul, that was true. But now with the introduction of gas a haul. Um, all the materials are ethanol resistant and as we saw through the parts comparison they in fact use the same parts.